Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play Gang Beasts. In this episode we're going to do a little bit of melee, whatever that is. I, I thought that was similar to Waves, but I guess not. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Always with me is my friend Dalton. Let's kick some ass on whatever map this is. Elevators. Oh, this map. Come here, I'll kick your ass. No! Oh. oh. F. <laughs> F. I typed that out on a public chat the other day, and somebody got confused by it, and I was like, really? That's been a beam for years now, dude. Damn. Seems like only yesterday. Yeah, now I have the PC version of it. Oh, that's right. And I uploaded the P uploaded gameplay of the PC version up to my gameplay channel, and it immediately got claimed and blocked worldwide by Activision. That was quick. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was because it had uh, the death scene in it, or that one guy. Yeah, near the beginning of the game. Yeah. Now we wait. There we go. Yeah, it, it got, and then I appeal. I appealed it, and they haven't said anything about my appeal yet. That was like a week ago, or more. Because I, you can find where other people have uploaded the death scene, and it's visible. It's not blocked. So I don't know why oh, it's blocked for me. Uh, there we go. Okay, we got to round three. As soon as the train goes by. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. Tell me somebody gets that reference. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's in the hole. Wait. I'm a wait. Hit somehow. But how? How the fuck did I make that? How? <laughs> I defy death. Get back out. Get back out. Get back out. Get back out. That's all you gotta do. Get back out. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, yes. What? I don't know how you lived, but oh, fuck. <laughs> we won because you lived somehow. Uh, <laughs> that was oh, awesome. Man. Just lucky over and over again. Yep. Did you see my uh, grave meme that I made? Not yet. Uh, I made that a few days ago. It was uh. A picture of a bathroom door with an out of out of order sign on it. It had the grave logo and it said, "Great, you'll never pee." <laughs> <laughs> you know, because their second album's called "You'll Never See." Yeah. <laughs> there needs to be more grave memes. Or just OSDM memes in general. 
Oh, no! Fuck! Ass! Shit! Goblin! God damn it. Oh, oh no. No, no, my armor's stuck. Oh, shit. I thought you were dead. So I started playing through Uncharted Drake's Fortune on the PlayStation 4, the, the remaster of it. And it's, surpri it's surprising how gorgeous the game still is 11 years later. Oh, yeah. But uh, the, the remaster is actually really fucking good. The, the original targeted 30 frames per second and didn't really hit that a lot of the time and had screen had really bad screen tearing issues and this one uh, hit 60 most of the time that's good it runs at a higher resolution it runs at 1080p instead of 720p with like the original which I mean let's we could just face facts last generation was the HD generation but it was the 720p generation yeah. you know it looked like 1080p yeah. <laughs> it's like the best looking thing ever, and then the next generation comes along, and like, oh, this is the best looking thing ever. Yeah, and <laughs> it, uh, got all the screen tearing issues are gone, so it plays smooth as butter, dude. And I it's bet. still a great game. It's still, uh, good, funny dialogue, like immensely likable characters good soundtrack gorgeous well animated especially for the time there we go yes yeah, suck it suck it Ah, 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 ah. Oh, shit, 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 shit. There I go. Fuck. Dude, I'm enjoying playing through it a lot. I'm getting a shitload of achievements for my PlayStation 4 as well. Because I beat that and I beat the uh, Bio... I'm going to beat that and I beat the uh, Bioshock HD... The, the Bioshock Remaster Trilogy, which I had never beaten uh, Bioshock 2 before. And that, I, in my opinion, that game gets a bad rap that it doesn't deserve. It's great. And Bioshock Infinite, and that game is way fucking overpraised. Like, holy shit. I do not know why people praise the fucking story in that game, and I can't really get into that without getting into spoilers. But yeah, it's think, no... Hmm? I think the original story was a lot different and a lot better. Like, the original uh, story, like, when they first, like, for the first couple of uh, trailers, I mean. Have you played Bioshock Infinite? No. Okay, I won't. I won't say anything about the story because that's what people usually wind up loving about it. But I thought it was. Uh, it's it was the thing that bothered me the most about the game, especially the fucking ending that be, get praised to high heaven and back. And God, the ending is dumb. God damn it, it's dumb. I need, I need to. I think a lot of people praise it just for the aesthetic alone. The aesthetic is really good. Yes, I, I do like the aesthetic, but I'm not gonna lie, but... I do like the first two uh, games' as aesthetic, though. A lot more... Underwater, like, 50s theme. Yeah. Or 40s theme, I should say. I really liked Bioshock, too. That was my favorite of the bunch. And Minerva's Den in my opinion, has the best storytelling of the entire trilogy. 
that's the DLC for Bioshock 2, and it's really, really good. Oh, yeah. I was, like, tearjerker good. Legitimately, like, the big twist and the, the final audio log in it is just heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah, you you stay down there. No, don't drag me down there too. God damn it. There I go. At least I killed one of them. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for System Shock 3, and I'm really excited for the System Shock remake. And I want more Showdown. Yeah. Showdown is such an awesome villain. Showdown did nothing wrong. <laughs> Showdown did a lot of things <laughs> wrong. <but laughs> Rip Citadel Station. But yeah, uh, she's an awesome, highly memorable villain, and when you find out the twist about halfway through that game, it just pff, fucking mind blowing. Yeah, yeah. It's also funny because System Shock 2 has one of the cheesiest, like, ending FMVs ever. Or not really. Like, yeah, like it anything. does. It, it starts falling <laughs> apart toward the end. The level design isn't as good. The same thing is true of the first Bioshock, by the way. Yeah. Look, I'm dead. Like, the, the level... There's a level where you don a big daddy suit and you play it, and it's the most video gamey thing in the entire fucking thing. It's like, this exists, it feels like a lot of this exists to extend the life, the length of the game. Like, that's the only reason it's yeah. in there. It's not really well enough to where you can, like, not see that it's clearly there just to push the story forward. It's not subtle. And I think a lot, I think that scared a lot of people off from Bioshock 2 is because the Big Daddy part being one of the worst parts of the original game and then Bioshock 2 you play as a Big Daddy the entire time, but it works pretty well, although the uh, little sister fights piss me off. They really get on my nerves. But overall, yeah, I, I really liked, like, I thought it had a better and more interesting villain than Frank Fontaine in the first one. It didn't dive as hardcore into the uh, philosophy as the first one. Like, the first one's like, it's about Ayn Rand, Rand's philosophy. Yeah. Um, what? I can't move. Oh, what the hell? The game is trying to play soccer mode in Grinder. Is that even possible? I don't think so. That's weird. I'm gonna quit. Then I'm just gonna re-invite you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, see, it's supposed to be an alley, not Grinder. So why the hell did it load up Grinder? That was weird. That was a weird glitch. I've never seen that happen before.
God damn it, god damn it, god damn it! <laughs> oh, wow. Way to knock me over, Ball. <laughs> damn. You just gave him a free point for that, Ball. The other way with it. God damn 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 it. Ah. Fuck. Fuck. Got your hat. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, that was my point. Fuck you. That was really close, too. Holy crap. How the hell did it. Ah! Oh no! No, go the other way with it. God damn it! <laughs> Yes! 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 No! Great, now I'm unconscious. That was ugly. I got an achievement. Shut out. Fuck. That didn't work very well. <laughs> I'd love to have more people to play this with. Yeah, this is this is better as a party game. Yeah. Even with three people, it's better. Yeah, I'd imagine. Where are you, bitch? There you are. Why the fuck are you pink? No, actually. Why the fuck are you a pink piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like you ate Pepto Bismol and then became that. <laughs> check me, <laughs> check me out. Doing aerobics on the side of the building. What am I doing? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, you fall. Yeah, you fall. Oh, Alright. I think you knocked yourself out. I didn't really have to do anything. <laughs> Did we set the rounds or is it still one? I'm not sure. I guess we'll. Oh, it's still three. Okay. This, oh, this is a good map. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well, oh. F. F. There we go. I'm still not entirely sure how it determines who wins that one. Oh, I thought this one was the truck one at first. That was a short oh. round, but I won. All right, let's do this. Oh, it's two. Oh, okay. That works.
Oh, shit. I have a bunch of records to listen to. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Hopefully some good stuff. I haven't looked through it. I'll have to look through it later and see if there's anything good. I always tag you every single time I post. Yeah, well, I took uh, out Trump. Tranket Baron. The, the weeb. Baron the weeb. I have no clue if Baron's a weeb or not. Uh, I think it was a fake screenshot, but there was like a Twitter post of him, uh, uh, of him talking about anime or something. I'm not sure if it's real or not. If it's real. I don't know either. I I haven't even seen it, so. <laughs> oh, they won. Shit. Time is it? Twelve forty-nine. We'll go for a, ten more minutes or so. Yeah. And then we'll call it and call it a night. Got to get some okay. editing done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight into the fire. That is not what I meant to do. Although, yeah, I was about to reference that too. <laughs> that album turned uh, oh, right, 35 yeah. just the other day. Yeah. Oh man. Time Thrash metal life. turned 35. Basically. It, yeah, I've heard so many people say, "Well, that's not the first thrash metal uh, album." I'm like, "Can you name one before it?" Yeah. And. They'll usually say something like, well, what about Venom? Venom speed metal, dude. Yeah, that's different. I'm not sure thrash metal would exist without Venom, but Venom themselves were never thrash. Yeah, I, I, I kind of wish they would rename... Um, I, I wish they would reissue Kill Em All, but actually have it called Metal Up Your Ass with the original logo and stuff. That'd be yeah. kind of interesting. What it was originally supposed to be called. I'm flopping around like a fish out of water trying to get drag Trump somewhere. Up oh, there goes one of them. Aaron's over the edge. I don't think we've ever won a round with on this particular one. This one's hard. Yeah, it is. Oh. I thought I was headed over the edge there. Oh, I almost caught him. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. We we both made it past round one. That's rare. rare. Excuse me, that's rare in and of itself on this map. Oh, shit. Oh, we're fucked. No! No! God damn it! Go over the edge! Over the edge! Oh, there goes one of them. <laughs> well, I got two of them. I got close to beating around by myself. Better than nothing. Yeah. yeah the only place we can seem to fit, complete it is uh, the train one. cheese the the enemies yeah the uh, kill or li ride the lightning turn 20 uh, 34 just the other day my favorite album of all time 
understandably so. No filler. Well, I mean, I guess I guess escape is admittedly a filler track, but it's a good filler track. Yeah, I mean, you can call escape and uh, trapped under ice filler if you want, but they're still great tracks. Yeah. Oh shit! There I go. There I go. Usually, when Metallica writes filler tracks, they're usually better than most bands, of, like actual. Yeah, uh, I can think of uh, one filler track that I don't particularly care for, and it feels out of place on the album, and that is um, Unforgiven 3 on Death Magnetic. Yeah, oh my god, I feel the same exact way. It sounds like something that belongs on Load and Reload, doesn't it? It really does. And and like, it's, it, it, is it necessary to have another Unforgiven track? Because, I mean, no. it made sense with the second one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know where you're coming from with that. I, I always felt that way, too. Yeah, I wish it, he would just accept his fame and just get crushed, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's the only non-thrash track on the fucking album, and I'm... And I've always wondered, like, this does not sound like thrash, just barely even... This doesn't even really sound like heavy metal. It sounds like hard rock. Why is this on the album? Yeah. I mean, you've already got the, uh, what Metallica calls a ballad kind of thing on it with, um, uh, what is, the, what was the first, uh, single from it? The uh, Day That Never Comes? Pumps. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Which is in line with, uh, Fade to Black and One and Sanitarium. Yeah. Like a track that goes all kinds of different routes and different, uh, tempos and... Yeah, but where it's basically a ballad for about half of it, it gradually turns into thrash over time. Yeah. I honestly really like that thing, Nick. I'm not going to lie. I like it. Yeah, the, my only problem with it is the, uh, the, oh, the, 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 orig the production on the, yeah. on the, the, uh, studio yeah. version of it sucks. And I, it didn't have to. Shit, I just killed myself. Because the production on the Guitar Hero version of it, because... Guitar Hero was huge when that album was released, so... Oh, hell yeah, I, 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 got, I pre ordered that Guitar Hero Metallica. At yeah. The time. And they're like, let's make a guitar, let's make this entire album playable in the new Guitar Hero, and that'll be huge for. And it was! You get the entire album on, in Guitar Hero, and the production is so much better on it, because it's like, it's not all top end, you know? It doesn't top out yeah. constantly. And it just leaves me here like, why couldn't you guys release this version? Is the yeah, I guess it's, it's it's annoying when you're listening to it on like like a listening like service or whatever. And then like you go through like you get, you get to like a death magnetic song, and all of a sudden your fucking ears blow up from the increased uh, noise compared to like other songs you would be listening to. Yeah, and, and at the time they tried to make excuses for why it was like that, but. When Beyond Magnetic came out, which is a damn good EP, by the way, yeah, it, it had much better production. So you can tell just from that alone that even they weren't completely satisfied with it, because that's a much easier listen than uh, Death Magnetic. And I, again, I like Death Magnetic. It's a great album. It's it's it would have fit perfectly in between. Um, and Justice for All on the Black Album. Yeah. If, if the songs were made around that time, it would have sounded uh, in place. Yeah. Or it would have fit perfectly in between uh, Puppets and Justice as well. Yeah. It's funny because ah, ah. I, I really like the guitar tone on um, uh, the Black Album. I always like the, the actual like tone and stuff, but the Black Album um, gets more flack than it deserves. It does, it's, yeah. I mean, okay, it's more commercial than your typical Metallica album up to that point, and it worked out for them. But there's still good. There's still some good. Uh, even oh, yeah. there's even some good thrash on it, like. What is through the never if it's not thrash? Oh yeah. I 
I fucking love that track. And I think I still think it's sad that the Through the Never movie does not have the song Through the Never in it. Yeah, that's kind of funny. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking too. That, the God that, God that Fails really good. It's I a know. yeah, the God that Fails. I love the bass on that one and My Friend oh, of yeah. Misery. The bass lines on those are fucking great. Because yeah, when Jason Newstead writes a song, it's usually a pretty good song. Yeah, I t I do tend to agree that they probably should have left My Friend of Misery as a, an instrumental, though. Yeah. Because the lyrics are cheesy. The lyrics are not up to James Het James Hetfield's usual standard, which his standard is pretty good. Like when he's at his absolute best, he writes great lyrics. But his usual his this is a standard James lyrics is pretty good. You know. Yeah, I know what you mean. But my friend of misery is just cheesy. You just stood there screaming, fearing no one was listening to you. You know. The em they say the empty can rattles the most. The sound of your own <laughs> voice must soothe you. Yeah, it, not it, that. It is kind of it is kind of cheesy. <laughs> so I think they probably should. That was the original plan to have it as a instrumental. Anyway. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. Make sure you share this video. That would help me out a lot. Ring the bell so you will actually get notified of when I fucking upload stuff. And you probably still won't get notified because this site is going to, down the shitter real fast. Uh, yep. But we'll talk to you guys next time with probably more, uh, probably the start of the single player of Portal 2. Yep. Bye everybody. See ya.